Hi, it's Katrina. From new sightings of giant squids to mysterious objects in space, here are 10 of the most amazing scientific discoveries in recent years. Number 10. Water on Europa because of its icy exterior, many people have long thought that Jupiter's moon Europa could be a possible home to alien life. Jupiter has a lot of moons, 79 to be exact, but what we have discovered about Europa makes it a very viable candidate in our search for life in space. In 2013, NASA actually observed plumes of saltwater vapor coming from below its icy surface. This means that underneath its 100 kilometers of ice, there is a liquid ocean underneath that is most likely a gigantic ocean of salt water. This water vapor sometimes erupts into space in huge geysers that we can see through telescopes. And it is gigantic. Think about this, Europa is about as big as Earth's moon, but scientists think that if you took all of the Earth's water, including its oceans, rivers, lakes, and so on, and put it all together, that would still make up only half of Europa's ocean. There is a theory that there is even an ocean in our moon that is twice as big as Earth's. When we compare Earth's water to other bodies of water detected in the solar system, Earth actually has a surprisingly small amount compared to other worlds out there, according to Business Insider. This discovery lends more credence to the idea that Europa could feasibly maintain some kind of alien life. What the nature of this life would be, however, is unclear. NASA scientist Bob Papalardo puts it the following way. If there's life at Europa, it would almost certainly be an independently evolved form of life. Would it use DNA or RNA? Would it use the same chemistry to store and use energy? Discovering extraterrestrial life would revolutionize our understanding of biology. While we've also found water on Enceladus, Pluto, Titan, and Ganymede, it seems that Europa is the most promising candidate for life outside of Earth. The Europa Clipper mission, which is expected to launch at some point in 2020, will conduct a detailed survey of pretty much everything it can and hopefully get samples of some water molecules. Does Europa support life? We might be close to finding out. Number 9. Biggest Coffin Find in a Century Back on Earth, archaeologists recently discovered 30 ancient Egyptian coffins in the Asasif necropolis of ancient Thebes, the capital of ancient Egypt. Incredibly, this discovery was found by complete chance after extensive digging in the present-day city of Luxor. Inside of these sarcophagi were mummies that were amazingly preserved. These remains are thought to be around 3,000 years old, which are older than most of the relics found in the same region and they were found just as the ancient Egyptians left them. Inside of these coffins are detailed engravings which seem to specify that these mummies were once citizens of high renown, such as priests and nobles. Officials and archaeologists were excited about how the engravings are so clear and colorful given their age. This discovery is the largest coffin find since the end of the 19th century. An official statement declared the find as one of the largest and most important to be announced just in the past few years. And scientists think that there is still much more to be found in the Luxor area. The coffins were found a week immediately after uncovering 30 ancient workshops and pottery remnants in the nearby region. Archaeologists have also found an ancient industrial district not too far away. It seems that the region is home to many mysteries just waiting to be unearthed. Number 8. Chewing Gum How long does it take humans to digest chewing gum? Well, it probably depends on what kind of gum it is. The old wives' tale says that if you swallow your gum, it will stain your body for seven years or something like that, right? Well, in the case of a recently discovered wad in Lolland, Denmark, it hasn't yet fully decomposed in 5,700 years. What's more, scientists were able to take a ton of DNA from the gum and sequence the entire genome of its owner, an ancient female hunter-gatherer, as well as her oral microbiome and DNA from food she may have eaten. This was the first time that scientists had been able to do so with anything other than human bones. As it turns out, this wad of ancient gum was actually made from parts of the bark of a birch tree, referred to as birch pitch or birch tar. It's not entirely clear what these hunter-gatherers use the gum for. It may have just been chewed for pleasure, as we do now, but it might also have been used to keep them less hungry or as a pain reliever for toothaches. 
While no human remains were found at the dig site, the DNA revealed what the woman looked like, where her people could have come from, what bacteria and viruses she carried with her, and it's pretty amazing. Like Hans Schroeder from the University of Copenhagen said, we have this inconspicuous little lump of birch pitch that someone discarded thousands of years ago and suddenly were able to conjure up this person from it. Who knew you could learn so much from ancient chewing stuff? Number 7. Kepler 22b NASA's Kepler mission in 2011 confirmed the first planet in the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, the perfect distance from a star to have just the right temperature to be able to have liquid water, and therefore possibly support life. NASA's Kepler mission was meant to identify planets similar to Earth within the Goldilocks zone. 600 light years away, they found Kepler 22b. 22b's radius is about 2.4 times bigger than Earth's, the smallest yet seen in the Goldilocks zone. Based on its orbital location, Kepler 22b is the first non Earth planet that could potentially be inhabited by some sort of life with a comfortable temperature of about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Before this, scientists had only found near Earth sized planets near the edges of the Goldilocks zone, closer to the orbits of Mars and Venus in our solar system and research had only hinted at the possibility of planets in this zone. But 22b is square in the middle. It has an orbit of around 290 days, close to our orbital year, and its star is also a G-type, just like our Sun. Scientists don't know if it is mostly rocky, liquid, or gaseous. We would need more powerful telescopes. In 2016, NASA announced the Kepler mission had verified 1,284 new planets, with around 9 in the elusive Goldilocks zone. And now for number 6, but first, big shout out to Faison Bry and Elliot Bender for supporting this channel. Couldn't do it without you. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and of course let me know your favorite discovery in the comments below. Number 6. Giant Squid The giant squid is one of the most elusive animals on the planet. They are rarely seen near the surface of our ocean and they live deep underwater around 3,300 feet but a research group in the Gulf of Mexico hit the jackpot in 2019. On a mission funded by NOAA, scientists plunged their cameras into the deep sea to see what they could find. 100 miles off the coast of Louisiana, they spotted a giant squid, the first time this creature has been captured on camera in the United States, and only the second time the giant squid has been recorded ever. It took a lot of work to lure it in. In fact, it required the construction of a camera apparatus called the Medusa that would imitate other bioluminescent prey while not scaring the squid away. It had a lure known as an electronic jellyfish that attracts deep sea animals that uses infrared light, but the results were well worth the work. Based on the footage, scientists estimate that this particular squid was at least 10 feet long. As soon as they saw its giant tentacles come into view, they got really excited. Dr. Edie Witter said, We all proceeded to go slightly nuts. We know so little about how these animals survive in the depths. This helps us learn something more about how they hunt and their energy budget, but we need to know a lot more. Scientists are hoping to engage the public and get others involved in conservation efforts, even for those creatures we barely ever get to see. Number 5. Quantum Computing We've looked to the skies, to the sea, but how about into your computer? Recent advances in quantum computing mean that in the near future you might be working with far more powerful technology. Pioneered by the engineers at Google, their new quantum computer is capable of feats far and above what ordinary computers can accomplish. This computer can execute an uber-complicated computation, one that it would take the world's current fastest supercomputer 10,000 years to complete in just a hair over 3 minutes. How's that for a comparison? 10,000 years versus 3 minutes. Quantum computers, quite simply, can do things that conventional computing technologies are incapable of achieving, giving them quantum supremacy. What accounts for this categorical difference between supercomputers and quantum computers? For one thing, quantum computers are a completely different kind of beast. The science behind them is totally unique. Google is trying to lay claim to this quantum supremacy, but other companies are quickly following suit. The big tech giants like IBM and Microsoft are also on the heels of pioneering new discoveries in quantum computing, and with them accelerations in artificial intelligence, aerospace, stock prediction, and who knows what. The future for quantum computing is surely something to keep an eye on. Number 4. Dinosaur Fossil Egg 
Our childlike enchantment with dinosaurs often extends into adulthood. So just imagine how excited 10-year-old Zhang Yangtze must have been when he discovered a fossilized dinosaur egg while playing out near the Dong River in Heiyuan, China, now famous for its fossilized dinosaur remains. He was out on a walk with his mother when he picked up a rock. According to the boy, he thought that it might just be a piece of cement. However, when he looked further, he had a hunch that this wasn't anything ordinary. His mother contacted the authorities and the official investigation began. When experts arrived, they indeed determined that Young Zhang had found a fossilized dinosaur egg. Over the coming weeks, they found 10 more eggs where Zhang had uncovered the first one, determining that the area was a nest. These researchers think that the eggs are around 66 million years old. This is an astounding find to just happen upon, but it may not be so uncommon in Heiyuan. There have been many fossilized discoveries throughout the area, especially dinosaur eggs. Over 17,000 have been uncovered so far. So when you're out walking by a river, keep an eye out because you just never know what you might find in nature. Number 3. Oumuamua in 2017, researchers in Hawaii got quite the shock when they saw something strange flying through the solar system. The strange object was moving too fast to be gravitationally bound by the sun and was already traveling back into the depths of space when it was discovered. It was an interstellar visitor, and the first interstellar object to be spotted within our solar system. The object was named Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning the scout. Why do scientists think that this object is from outside of our solar system? For one thing, it is quite elongated, looking more like a cigar than a traditional asteroid. It does not rotate in a smooth manner, but instead fumbles through space. It also moved very quickly through the solar system relative to the sun, giving it no chance of staying within our sun's orbit. Something must have catapulted Oumuamua into our solar system. But what? We're not really sure. The prevailing hypothesis is that the gravitational effects of a population of gas giants in a still-forming solar system propelled it across the galaxy. Scientists are unsure how long it shot through space before it arrived in our solar system, most likely during the Victorian era. Scientists had a window of a few weeks to study Oumuamua before it left our Earth-bound telescopic line of sight, but this lack of investigative time didn't stop the theories from rolling in. People have conjectured that it is everything from a comet to an extraterrestrial spaceship. While the latter seems far-fetched to other experts, Harvard astronomer A.V. Lieb thinks that it could be an alien scout. But the jury is still out. Number 2. Zealandia not sure if this discovery got a lot of attention, but in 2017, geologists made an astounding announcement. There is an entire continent, which they named Zealandia, hidden beneath the Pacific Ocean. Some geologists even think that it should be counted as an official continent alongside the standard geological seven. Zealandia is located at the bottom of the ocean between the island chain from New Zealand to New Caledonia, but it wasn't always at the bottom. Researchers have located fossils there, which seem to indicate that plants and other organisms may have inhabited Zealandia at one time. The new evidence also implies that calling New Zealand slash New Caledonia an island chain is a misnomer. They are actually a part of the greater continent of Zealandia, which is about the size of India. This discovery has apparently been coming since 1995, but there was not enough data to back it up. However, due to recent elevation and gravity maps of the sea floor, researchers were able to determine that Zealandia is indeed unified enough to count as a continent. It's a bit shocking to realize that the Earth may still be holding its secrets right under our noses, especially of that size. Who knows what else may be hidden below the Earth's surface? Number 1. Oldest Human-Like Skull in February 2016, archaeologist Johann Hali Selassie and his team were exploring the northern Ethiopian desert when they made a remarkable discovery, a nearly complete hominin skull, which they determined to be around 3.8 million years old. It was actually found by accident in a goat pen. Fun fact, hominins are the group consisting of modern humans, extinct human species, and all of our immediate ancestors, versus hominids, which is the group consisting of all modern and extinct great apes, including humans, gorillas, etc. The find was published in the journal Nature, and National Geographic reports it is the oldest skull ever found of our ancestors. The skull, now called MRD, is from our oldest and most enigmatic evolutionary relatives, the Australopithecus anamensis. Prior to Halle Selassie's discovery, we had only a few bone fragments from these relatives since 3.8 million years is a pretty long time, and such a complete skull is unprecedented. However, MRD led to some intensive debate among evolutionary biologists. 
It's discovery forced scientists to reconsider the structure of the hominin evolutionary tree. Most thought that Lucy, the famous fossil from the closely related A. afarensis, evolved directly from the A. anamensis. However, Halley Selassie argued that MRD's distinguishing feature suggested that this picture was oversimplified. In light of MRD's discovery, they concluded that A. anamensis and A. afarensis must have overlapped for 100,000 years or so. See? As is the case with all science, not all agree with this evolutionary reconstruction. We need more fossils! The research team, of course, has more studies in mind, but in the meantime, they are pretty excited about being able to reconstruct the face of one of our very early ancestors. Thanks for watching! Which discovery was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. See you soon! Bye!